Hi guys, VST here, Venax360. Welcome to another interesting video. This time, this time we want to speak about nearby sharing, okay? Stay tuned guys, it's gonna be very, very interesting. Guys, so I got this tip from Vivek Chanheri, who is a member of the VST channel on Telegram. We were more than 100 people, very nice chats sometimes. So if you want to come visit us, yeah, fine. And of course, if you want to subscribe to my channel, guys, you know how to do this, how to do this. just click here the button and ring the bell, all right? Now guys, something very interesting. So video was telling me, listen, the nearby sharing is awesome. It takes under 10 seconds to transfer half a gigabyte of file, right? And I would say, oh, well, this really sounds amazing. He told me that the new nearby sharing is supposed to be the airdrop alternative for Android. So, you know, all the iOS devices, you know, when you go past somebody with an iPhone or an iPad and you get also have an iPhone in your pocket, then of course you can use just the airdrop and just send files like, like nothing. Of course, we are used to have this since years ago. I mean, by we the Android users, but you know, just using regular Bluetooth. But this thing here should be like native from Android 10. Um, the way you can actually install is very simple. You need to join the Play Services better, then you need to check your Bluetooth and connection settings in the settings app, and then you need to just enable that one, right? So it should be very, very simple, and it's confirmed to be working on Note 10 Plus and the OnePlus 7 Pro. So today, actually, I got my OnePlus 8 in my right hand, and I got also the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, and I'm just actually just gonna do this in real time with you, and I'm gonna try to see if this will work and what the speed is gonna be. So what I'm gonna do right now in real time, just going to open the Play Services, here right so of course I have Google Play services already installed on my phone now what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna hit here the button called join the beta so when I join a beta you know I'm just going to become part of the beta program now apparently I should be able to get some updates right so I'm now just joining the beta you pretty much don't get anything now what I'm gonna do is after I am of course in the beta I'm just gonna go to my apps and then I'm just gonna go to beta and now you see Google Play Services, there is apparently an update, all right? So I'm gonna hit this here on the OnePlus 8, okay, so update. I'm just gonna leave my OnePlus like this and I'm just gonna do guys the same on my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. So again, opening here the Google Play Services, guys. And of course, because I'm already a part of the beta, you see here I have the Google Play Services beta. Of course, I have the same Google account on both of my phones. I'm just gonna hit here the update and while it's updating here on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, I just wanna see what happened here, you know, on the OnePlus 8. So, okay, when I just go like this, guys, I just go to my apps and I just go to beta. I see here that the Google Play services, when I hit it, I can see it's already installed. Now, guys, let's see if I have this nearby sharing. So, Vivek told me I have to go to settings, then I have to go to Bluetooth device and connection and sadly not because it actually should be there. Right now, I cannot see. So, guys, I installed it, the better Google Play services, and I didn't have it. And of course, I was frustrated, so I kept digging. And then I saw that actually, while you becoming part of the Play services beta is required, there is no guarantee that you're gonna get it because there is also a server-side component to that part, which pretty much means that, you know, your phone is the client, but you need also the server to say, okay, listen, VST or whatever, like Mr. X can use this new feature. But you know, I never gave up, so I uninstalled the better update I then went again to the Play Services and I did it right one more time and then boom, just like magic guys, I have the nearby share now on my OnePlus 8. I have now installed the nearby share on both the OnePlus 8 and the Samsung S10 Plus and we're gonna do a test with a video that is 203 megabytes, okay? So I'm just going to select the video, guys. But before that, let me enable the Bluetooth on my OnePlus 8 and also do the same on the Samsung Galaxy. Okay, good. Now, guys, I'm just going to hit the share button and we should have here an icon saying nearby share. That's the icon. Pressing it here, apparently we can see that also the Samsung X10 Plus is activated. So we press here valence phone, All right? Let's see what happens, guys. Okay, I'll just go for accept. We have now sending and receiving. Okay, let's see how quick this is gonna go, guys. Okay, now it's a 203 megabytes file. Okay, so let's see. If I just minimize it, guys, you should be able to see here there is a progress bar. Okay, and I will not lie to you. I previously tried it several times. Sometimes it did work, sometimes it didn't work. Right now, I have the feeling that we might be you know, a scenario where this is working. Have in mind that this is a very better function. So of course you could have a situation that this is not going to work properly. And of course here we have two different phones, but you know, both are actually running Android 10. And that is why I just wanted to do the test. So 
One of the first tests that I actually felt was here on the OnePlus 8. I just got like more percentages done compared to the Samsung S10 Plus. And then of course, at some point here it was ready. Here it was probably half away. And then I got a message that the file you know, was not sent successfully. Oh, by the way, the speed, you know, I cannot really judge if that's really quicker than Bluetooth, but we can already see here, you know, it is quite, quite quick because it's a 203 megabytes file. So it is a rather large file. Of course, you need to get these three things up and moving. So you need to enable location. You need to have the both phones, of course, enabled here in close proximity. I just think, you know, it's, it's, it's really quick. Um, I just think that actually Android is a little bit behind compared to Apple, but of course it's a little bit easier for Apple because they just have the iOS and of course there are several iterations, several versions and of course several iPhone models, but you know how diverse the Android world is, so I'll think that this is really like a great step forward. There are of course a lot of applications that pretty much offer the same functionality, but this here is really native and it's really included. Okay, here, one video sent, one video received, I'm just gonna open the video with the video player, see if the video... Oh my god. It is successful, it is absolutely successful guys. It is successful, so I just managed to upload 203 megabytes from the OnePlus 8 to the Galaxy S10 Plus using the nearby share function. So again, this is not something new, but it's now stuck inside Android and we had previously Android Brim, we had a lot of things. This is gonna be something new in Android 11. Now, of course, if you want to test it like me in the early stages, you are free to follow my instructions. And with that said, guys, have a nice rest of the evening, have a nice Friday tomorrow, VST. Over and by. Yeah, I need to solve that one, you know.